Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another how to video on ABA. This is part on five. And this part is going to be on attack canceling and uh, why you should be using it and uh, how it works. So when I say attack canceling, you're really just using two moves or using two attacks at the same time. So if you watch one of my previous videos on this series, you know that this is an aerial combo. And that combo brings your opponent up in the air and slams them down. Now, when you do your last hit, you can actually click a move at the same time as your last hit. And that will allow you to like just use your move faster and make sure it will land. So, I'm going to show you why it's so important that you attack cancel. And like how it's going to affect the damage you're dealing because... If you don't attack cancel, you're going to miss a lot of your attacks. If you do attack cancel, you're going to make a lot more attack. It's going to be a lot more easier to um, land moves. So the first move I'm going to be using is a uh, burning attack. I'm going to be using on trunks. This character is a perfect example because, like I said earlier, if you, if you use attack canceling, you're going to land. If you don't, it's not the move will not land. Um, so I'm just going to bring them up in the air, slam them down, and the first time I'm going to show you is without attack canceling. As you can see, I brought them up in the air, I slammed them down, as soon as I finished slamming them down, I spammed my burning attack key and it still did not hit. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you do attack cancel. You see, that hit the dummy, and I just dealt an extra 22 damage to my opponent by changing that combo up just like a half a second. I just did an extra 22 damage to this guy's HP. And if you land that combo multiple times a match, that may be an extra 50 or 60 damage that you're dealing to, that you're missing out because you didn't do this technique. So you may be wondering, how do I do it? It's actually pretty simple. You just want to like time your clicks so when you bring them up in the air do one two three bring them up in the air and then after you when you're about to do your last hit at the same time as your last hit you want to click your attack so as you saw it starts charging the attack up before they even like hit the ground if you wait till you're done attacking it's, it's gonna be too late so you want to click four and click the last hit of your m1s at the same time and if you do that, it's going to allow you to attack cancel and you're just going to land so many more moves. So if you just bring them up in the air and as soon as you, as soon as your animation starts to go slam them back down, use your move at the same exact, you have to try to click at the same exact time. Now, not every combo works with this. Um, Attack canceling is really good for um, certain moves. You have to actually practice. If you, if you want to be good at ABA, you actually have to practice and learn which moves work. See, if I try to attack cancel with Blazing Rush, it's not going to work. Ah, I used the wrong move. I meant um, Rapid Sword Stream. If you try to attack, can attack cancel with Rapid Sword Stream, it's not going to work. Blazing Rush, that works, but... It's um, pretty easy to land without it. Okay, I'm gonna respawn. Now I'm gonna use Rapid Sword Stream and, and show you how it doesn't work when you attack cancel. See, the move didn't land right there. So you have to learn which moves work and which moves don't. So now I'm gonna show you two moves that work with the regular M1 attack cancel like on the ground. I'm gonna show you two, two moves that work with an aerial attack cancel where you slam them down. I'm gonna show you another two moves that work with another aerial attack cancel where you kick them away. All right, so the first one is trunks. You already saw this one earlier, but show you again. That, that, that's one that works with um, slamming them down. Okay, the next character I'm gonna show you is um, Atachi Shuriken Assault. This move works with you slamming them down. See, I landed all my shurikens there, or except for one, all of them, and um, if you waited, it wouldn't have landed. Okay, next up is um, Bakugo. 
This character actually has a move that works with the kick away combo. So as you saw there, I brought them up in the air, I kicked them away, and I like use my move at the same time. If you wait, if you wait till like you're already falling down, that move will not land. Okay, here's another here's another aerial combo. See, I activated the move. Since this move has a little bit of time to charge up, I had to activate it before it actually before I actually finished the combo. Okay, the next character is Aizen, and before I show you this, I want to say this is not a true combo. But if you use his 3, which is his 40 damage move, if you like attack cancel it, it takes away like half of the startup time, which makes it a lot easier to um, land. If the startup time is shortened, your opponent has a lot less frames to block, so you want to do this with Aizen. As you can see, they, they, they blocked it, but it just makes it so much easier to um, land. Okay guys, so it took me a long time to think of another character that was good with attack canceling for a, a regular M1 chain on the ground. But then I realized any character that has a grab move is good for this. So if you have a grab move, you know you can use it in the middle of a combo to just deal extra damage. So I'm just in the middle of a combo. I can use this move. But what you guys might not know is you can actually attack cancel with a grab. And that allows you to just deal an extra four damage. Even if you even if you do one, two, three, four, and you you um activate your, your grab, you're missing out on four damage every time. So it's just the small things that like help you win a match. If you ever lost a match with a character that has a grab and you, you lose and your opponent has a little bit of health left, this little technique would have made you win that match. So you want to click the grab as soon as you do your last hit. And you can you can tell that it worked because there's like a little uh, a little shock wave that comes out when you do your last hit of your M1. You see that little shock wave. So if you see that when you use your grab, you know that you used you did an extra four damage because you got your last hit off and you still landed your grab. And any almost any grab in the game is not going to ever mess up your grab. If you know if you know the timing, it's not gonna mess up your grab. You can do this so many times. And it's not gonna mess up the grab. And also, before I end the video, one thing I want to note, I want you guys to know about this is um, you can add a little pause in between your last hit because this last hit is a guard break. So yes, your opponent can block in between this. If you add a pause, your opponent can block in between there, but your last hit of your M1 is a guard break, which just makes it way better because. The, even if they block, they're, they're just getting guard broken and you're dealing so much more damage. So, for example, I'm going to break guard, guard break this dummy. I'm going to add a pause. If you, if you add a pause there, that's completely fine because you're still guard breaking them. So, you can, you can even add a pause, which makes it easy for beginners because the, the, you can't get punished for not knowing the timing you just have to you can't get punished for doing it too late you can just basically just practice the timing and you'll be doing an extra 20 damage an extra four damage here extra 20 damage there and this is tips that are going to help you win games uh, if you enjoyed that video make sure to like and subscribe we're at 45 subscribers thank you for the support and um without further ado that's the end of the video